Well, as someone with a bad case of acrophobia, the fear of heights, I might not have been the perfect choice to cover this historic milestone in Edmonton. Nonetheless, we are here as the city unveils what is now the tallest building anywhere in Canada outside of Toronto. Four years after work began on the foundation, the Stantec Tower has now been crowned as Western Canada's highest man-made vantage point. Crews topping off the building Friday, settling in at 69 floors or 251 meters. How does it feel to be uh, going to the top of the tower today, to be able to, to see your, your work finally capped off? You know, this is the first time I've been up there, so I'm really looking forward to it. You know, all the, the folks that we work with, all the engineers and architects who were part of it, are so excited about this, so they'll be jealous that I got to go up there and have a look before they did. The building is still a work in progress, making for a tricky ascent to the peak. 28 floors up an elevator, followed by another 38 via construction lift, and then climbing the final three flights of stairs. Well, if you ever wondered what it's like to be on the top of the world, this is as close as you're going to get. The 69th floor on the tallest building in Edmonton. Oh, I've been already doing the bragging, of course. This city councillor believes the tower is yet another significant catalyst for Edmonton's economy. One project uh, gives... Uh, uh, it basically burst to a lot of other projects and uh, this kind of project is going to bring many more excitement and that's good for the city. The tower swiping tallest bragging rights from Calgary's recently finished Brookfield Place, besting its southern neighbour by an estimated 20 feet. We actually waited until they had their foundations in because we knew once they were that dictated the height of their building and so we wanted to make sure we had a taller building then. The building is capped but construction will continue. The crane won't come down until next April with work remaining on both a public plaza and residential condos and then there's the little matter of putting a figurative cherry on top for all to see. I mean, you can see this building from 30, 40 miles away. We're hoping to animate the top and, uh, and something that'll be quite a visible beacon for the ice district and the downtown and be a real attraction. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.